Hello and welcome to the Inspiro External Update, December 2019. I am your host and Inspiro Catalyst, Jorian. This series of videos is not here to talk about the big ideas around Inspiro, but more to give something to people who are curious about Inspiro. What do we discuss among ourselves? What have we been talking about? What have we been publishing? Uh, this is actually very similar to a series that we have internally. Unfortunately, I can't share all the information there. So I made this one, which is very, very, very similar. So if you're curious, this is just a good way to actually see what have we have been talking about. So without further ado, let's go for it. The big update today is Summerfest tickets. Summerfest is our biggest retreat. Uh, you are invited. It's not just for Inspiros. It's for everyone who is interested in the Inspiro energy. Uh, it happens in Wellington it, from the 6th to the 9th of February. And tickets are on sale. You can get them already. And this year's theme, I think, is a really, really, really good one, which is how can we be good ancestors? There's a very dedicated team working to make this a unforgettable experience, and I'm sure it will be. I've been to Summerfest, and it was life-changing. The amount of, um, of strong bonds that you can create in just a couple of days, it's really impressive, and I, I lack the words to recommend. <laughs> oh, all the links, including this one, all the links will be below on the YouTube description, so you don't have to. Um, you don't have to look very f uh, f far from them. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. So we have been pushing some energy into sponsoring Catalyst, which is me. Uh, it, it, there was a financial change, the change in the way we, we finance uh, uh, any working group within Inspiro. And Catalyst are sort of the prototype of this new financial model. So first of all, thank you so much so much for all of our sponsors especially the new ones it makes all the difference we are currently sponsored by these uh, kind people here by those amazing companies and by patrons people outside of the inspire network who value our work and decided to donate a little bit of their monthly income to us thank you thank you so much but we're still 430 new zealand dollars to go uh, which is scary because this means that from next month on, we're gonna start to cut uh, hours and even functions. So even the future of those videos um, is not really uh, safe. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> uh, and of course, being sustainable, which is those 430 New Zealand dollars is just the beginning. We want more, we want to expand, we wanna hire more people, we wanna um, financially enable other groups. So if you believe in what Inspiro does, this is a this is a cry for help. We 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 really want to expand the things that we can do, and a little bit of money every month would really help. The easiest way is of course Patreon.com/inspiro, um, as the other patrons that I just mentioned do. Uh, it's uh, the, all the information is here. The recent change is that all the Patreon money is being dedicated to the catalysts. So yes, go catalysts. Please help us out. <laughs> okay, so what have we been talking about? What have we been writing about? Uh, so Rupert wrote this article for the Inspiro Story Dojo, which is a project that I am directly involved with. And I could say, this guy, oh my God, he did such a terrific job. He had, uh, a couple of months ago, he helped me write uh, Story Dojo number two. It was me, him, and two other people from Optimai. And he, I don't know, he tasted it. And then he decided to do on his own. I did support him, but it's really his work. And it's a tense, uh, interesting, uh, hilarious in some points, tale about the savior complex and how empty he felt when he was trying to be the savior in a big company. It's very interesting and I thoroughly recommend. Congratulations, Rupert. R great, great work. So Susan and Gina uh, were interviewed by the Engendered podcast 
It's actually two uh, episodes, part one and part two, both have 40 minutes. So there's just so much good information there. Not only this podcast is quite cool, but uh, just the fact that those are two episodes and they had time to explore the ideas. Um, the main theme that they put here is the Inspiros feminist business ecosystem, which is definitely a big theme, but... Uh, there's so much more information. There's so many interesting details in there that, um, yeah, if you're interested in Inspiro in general, uh, there's a lot of code for insight here. Stephen uh, always shares his newsletters with us, which are incredibly well-crafted. And uh, this time he's talking a lot about his experiences with Extinction Rebellion. I mean, look at those pictures, it's really great. And also his experiences uh, with uh, training his uh, shamanic, sexual, spiritual side, which is something that he recommends thoroughly. Super interested if you're into those themes. Uh, so um, we had the, the honor to have uh, Joshua Vile, um, the uh, Inspiral fire starter <laughs> uh, uh, as one of the finalists for Wellingtonian of the year this year alongside uh, titans uh, of New Zealand cultural economical um, educational world he's actually in this educational uh, session and yeah it's just a, it's just an honor to be here Alina one of Inspire contributors uh, challenge herself to be more creative in the past 30 days, I think even slightly more than 30 days. Um, and she created a process in which she could flourish her uh, latent creativity. She wrote this Medium article about her reflections and about her motivations, and uh, which I recommend you read first. And if that is interesting to you, you can check her Instagram account where you can see the result of this experiment, which is very interesting because it's so varied. She found so many ways to communicate just in the space of 30 days, which was her whole point. So if you're also looking for your creative voice, might give you uh, a hint on how to find it. So Rich was interviewed uh, in, in, in this article here that he calls Wacky and he said that they even call him, what did he say, sorry, an uh, open source cult leader, <laughs> whatever that means. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's a, uh, it's a very interesting article. Uh, look at those gorgeous images and uh, uh, structured in a Wacky way. He also wrote a tutorial on how to make spreadsheets powerful. So if you're interested in these people that can find all sorts of information out of an Excel or a Google spreadsheet, this, this is the place for you. He writes in a very comprehensive way and he teaches all sorts of uh, uh, tips and tricks with the formulas. Bamboo Creative, one of Inspiro's ventures, has a new beautiful, gorgeous website. Uh, so uh, we turned good ideas into engaging meaningful user-centered experiences. Uh, but look at that. It looks really, really gorgeous. It looks super modern. I am super excited because I've seen the old website. It was okay, but look at that. It's just, just brilliant. Um, so if you're interested into turning your engaging meaningful ideas into experiences, give it a look. We were featured, Inspire was featured in this Virtual Communities for Impact Toolkit. Uh, which is organized by the Impact Hub. Uh, and it's just an honor for us to be here and to be uh, helpful. Uh, they feature our handbook, which is most of our open source information is there. And um, yeah, we're, we're happy to be connected with the Impact Hub. We believe in their work. So cheers, folks. Uh, happy, happy to be here. Generally, I post a moment of unzen because I am not a zen person. Uh, but today, specifically, I found something zen to share with you and I'm very excited because it's something, I don't know, that I've been watching for the past, for the past month, uh, which is this guy on YouTube who really, really loves his aquariums. And he has those super special aquariums and he makes those videos with beautiful imagery and uh, soothing music in which you can, well, with him, observe his fishes. And uh, in this case here, this shrimp e eating some cucumber. It's soothing, really. 
in anxiety filled days this is an oasis of calm and relaxation to me so if you're anything like me i'm sure you're gonna love it <laughs> so with those feasting shrimps i will leave you for this video and this year happy holidays everyone i hope you have a wonderful new year i hope it opens portals for you uh, and I will continue this series, hopefully, <laughs> January next year. So, see you then!